vegetable nut pie is a recipe that pulls a lot of the vegetables and flavors from the fall garden together into one great brunch pie. What we're going to do here is something that looks like it's a little bit involved because it looks like there's a lot of ingredients and a lot of steps, but you can do several things ahead of time. The first thing we've got here is one cup of lightly cooked broccoli. So chop it up into fairly small pieces, but don't mince it too finely. You don't want it falling apart. And then also one cup of cauliflower. And I just slice these so that we'll still be able to see there's cauliflower intact later on. And you want to steam those or cook them for about five minutes. You want to get them just to the point where they're starting to turn tender because they're going to bake some more later on in the oven. To that, I'm going to add a about, let me double check here, half of a medium green pepper that's been diced up fairly small and two cups of spinach that's been chopped up. Again, not too finely. It's going to condense down later on. And then about uh, one small onion. Now, I had only medium onion, so half of a medium onion or a fourth of a large onion. Uh, just kind of eyeball it. It's one of those kinds of recipes. And then finally, a cup of shredded low-fat cheddar cheese. And use sharp cheese if you can find it because it's going to bring out more flavor. And we're going to stir all these together just enough to get them mixed together just a little bit. And notice all the color that you get here with the contrasting from the white and the cheese and the uh, green from the spinach and the broccoli. It's really colorful. And then have a 10-inch pie plant pan that you have treated with vegetable spray. Now this recipe is reminiscent, you'll, 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 those of you that are familiar with impossible pie recipes uh, that used a baking mix and, and eggs and milk and you pour it over and it kind of creates its own crust. It kind of does that. It's real reminiscent of that. And this looks like it's going to be too full, but remember that spinach is going to do a lot of collapsing uh, as it sits in here. Try to make sure that uh, not any one kind of vegetable is on any one side and that everything is in the pan. And to the top of that, we're going to take a cup of toasted pecans. Now, this is going to give it a lot of crunch. And in fact, we started to call the recipe uh, vegetable pecan pie and because uh, it really does come out at the end to be that same kind of uh, crusty topping that you get on a regular uh, pecan pie. Make sure that none of the nuts are sitting up too tall because if they are sticking out a little bit, they will tend to burn on the edge. And toasting them, uh, before you get started, put them in a 350 degree oven for maybe five minutes or so. And that toasting brings out a lot of great flavor. And you're going to miss it if you don't do that. Even those are going to be, they'll be in the oven later on. That flavor developed er earlier before they're mixed in uh, is going to add a lot because some of these, are, or most of them are going to be submerged under the liquid that we're going to put on. Now we have a cup and a half of baking mix four large eggs, a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now, the baking mix already has a fair amount of sodium in it, so you really don't need to add any salt to this. And about a half a teaspoon of pepper, and then one and a half cups of fat-free milk. Now, if you are very good with your hand, you might be able to do that uh, without a mixer, but we want to get it going really good. So I'm just going to mix it with the mixer just until everything is well blended together. Okay, that's pretty good. We just want to get out, basically get the lumps out of there. And this just gets poured over the pie. It's, it's that simple. And then you're going to put it in the oven at 400 degrees. Try and spread that so it kind of goes over the whole thing. 400 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. Now make sure that you chop the spinach enough uh, that it, it's fairly well collapsed in here. Otherwise, you may have some problems with it uh, bubbling up because it uh, will come up on the pan just a little bit. But this is going to cook up in the oven, and you end up with this great pie that you serve for brunch. And everybody is going to be so impressed. It's great flavor, makes a great light meal. Could also be a side dish if you were going to do something a little bit heavier and uh, have a buffet. It would be great on a buffet or for a church supper. I hope this is something that you'll want to try. It's vegetable nut pie for Oklahoma Gardening. This is Barbara Brown.